Hi, my name is Nigel Chambers. I'm from Big Old Belt Media. Monica, it's a pleasure to talk to you today. How you doing? Nice to meet you. So let's get right to business. First off, um, I know that you're coming into my area, the Washington, D.C. area next week for Q&A and a special screening uh, for, of Manhunt. So very much looking uh, looking forward to that insight to have you in the city. You've been to D.C. before? I have, but I have not um, explored it as much as I hope to. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to give you some pointers off the record after this. <laughs> okay. Um, but I, I'm, I'm born, I'm pretty much born and raised. I've been in this area my entire life, and specifically in PG County. And in fact, I was uh, brought up in Clinton, Maryland, which happens to be just about five minutes away from one of the monumental sites of this series, which is the, now, this is my first question. I'm going to take the break there. We have always called it Surratt's. Surrattsville, Surratt's Road, Surratt's House. The uh... show has been saying Surratt. I, I need to know which was actually the correct pronunciation. Of That's this. a great question. Um, I think that both are acceptable, but that is interesting for me to know that that's what the locals say. So thank you. And Absolutely. I, I was wondering if it's also interesting to you because it was very interesting to me. Um, you know, obviously a lot of the show takes place in DC, um, but there were some things that really fascinated me. For example, the fact that Arlington Cemetery was Stanton's idea and mind blowing. Yes. And that it was actually a settlement for black freed uh, enslaved people for many years. Yep. Um, had no idea people were living there. Um, yep. that it was formerly Lee's land that that the union took over. So I didn't know any of that history. And then also I thought it was really interesting. Um, how a lot of freed people moved to D.C. at this time. Yeah. And I think that that had a lot to do with the tension at the time because it was something that, you know, people weren't used to. And D.C. is sort of nicknamed a chocolate city, right? Um, and D.C. does not have all the rights to vote, right? And so all of that really interested me in terms of how did all this originate? Um, and so that was all part of the story that had I had no idea was also connected to the assassination. I, I really appreciate that. I, and, and, and the fact that more and more you dive into it and realize when you hear about folks migrating out of D.C. into PG County, this rabbit hole just gets so much more intense. And hopefully we get you to come back to tell more storytelling with that. Um, but yeah, I definitely want to get this last question in because this is totally a change of pace from some of your previous projects. I absolutely love parenthood and couldn't believe that you was actually uh, uh, attached to this and that because it's such a dynamic change it just shows so much growth and maturity in your work so from james swanson novel to this being on our television screen can you talk about the journey this has been for you and some of the creative freedoms you brought you took to bring this to our television screen thank you yes i loved working on parenthood for four, the first four seasons i learned a lot there and i got to do a lot there um I did learn a lot and got to practice a lot about emotional storytelling. There was a joke about parenthood that you need a tissue box for every episode. Um, and so I hope part of what I brought to this story about the investigation of the Lincoln assassination is that you are emotionally invested in the characters and that those storylines pay off and they hit you in an emotional way, not just in a, you know, uh, solving a crime you know yeah, just fact telling yeah the, the history yeah absolutely absolutely Monica thank you so much for your time folks you can check out Manhunt it's going to be premiere on Apple TV plus March 15th and folks if you're in the Washington DC area come to the special screen in March 14th Bus thank Boys you and Poets. absolutely take care bye nice to meet you